A few years ago, Colombia was hit with torrential rains from the La Nina weather phenomenon. Coffee output was affected, but things seem to be changing. Michelle Begge reports. After more than 30 years of being a coffee farmer, Jose Alirio Castrillon saw his life savings and vocation being washed away by torrential rains that hit Colombia in 2009 and 10. I began to consider quitting because the coffee production couldn't even pay the laborers. Don Alirio had 30,000 coffee plants in his farm, and during Colombia's harsh winter rains, 90% of them were infected by the Roya fungus. Extreme weather puts the delicate coffee plant at risk to worms and diseases. The Roya fungus comes with high humidity, and it works its way through all the leaves of the plant, killing the coffee bean's nutrients. With this crisis, I had to find a coffee plant resistant to the Roya fungus, and now I've been able to replant about 8,000 coffee plants. My goal is to plant another 5,000 next year to prevent this problem. Drier weather is also working in favor of many coffee farmers who are trying to recuperate. According to the Colombian National Federation of Coffee Growers, production has grown by 52 percent in June, compared to the same month just last year. But these extremes had never been seen before, and unpredictability of weather can become a problem. We never know anymore when it's going to rain or when those months will be. Right now, at any moment, we could have a dry spell, and at any moment, it could rain. That's the problem we're having, the changing climates. But lessons have been learned from these difficult years. Colombia's Coffee Growers Federation says it is important for coffee farmers to prepare for the effects of climate change, like planting different coffee types that are more resistant. To survive the varying climates, farmers should follow our suggestions, like creating places of shade, better fertilization methods, better soil management, and most importantly, the passion to work in the fields and with the coffee. Analysts predict it could take a couple of years to recover to the 11.5 million bags of coffee that Colombia was once exporting. If the country can count on eight months of sun and sporadic rains, it can continue to hold its spot as the world's second largest supplier of Arabic coffee. Michelle Vega, CCTV, Colombia.